Sonny Hostin of The View, who's constantly raging about race and reparations and how bad America is and his race, racial past and all this stuff, goes on the Henry Louis Gates, it's PBS, I think, mm-hmm. show um, about your history and finds out that she's, this is fantastic, she is descended from slaveholders. She's descended from slaveholders and she's been apparently getting a lot of mail about her call for reparations because it turns out she's going to be paying them and not actually receiving them. Um, So here's what she said when she went out on The View and addressed it. Watch this. I was really reluctant to do it because I just sensed that there could be something in my family history that would be um, disappointing. But what I found out was that my mother's family, while... Um, they are Puerto Rican, they actually originate from Spain. And the reason that they moved to Puerto Rico is because the slave trade Mm -hmm. had been sort of canceled in Spain and then Curacao, and then they moved all of their slaves to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And so the the family business, I have been told that they were printers and journalists, but they were in fact enslavers. At first I was deeply disappointed. Um, The slave thing is a bummer. It's a bummer. And I can control it. I still believe in still still reparations, like, by whoa. the way, so y'all can stop texting me and emailing me and saying that I'm a white girl and that I don't deserve reparations. Mm, okay. I'm not going to text you or email you, but it's true. <laughs> Guess there's nothing worse than to find out you're a white woman. She's so disappointed. It's really disappointing. Her mother was white. Oh, my the God. Shame. Oh, my God. The horror. Oh my God. But you know, the other thing about this is just so fascinating to me. She's talking about her her ancestors migrating from Spain to Jim, Puerto, Rico Puerto Rico because of the slave trade. What goes on in America, you would think we were the only country on earth yeah. to have ever had slavery. This is endemic to the human condition. It really is. And Sonny Hostin, I'm sure, is disappointed. She's she's the self-appointed expert of all things Black America on The View. You would not know there was another Black woman on that panel yeah. or a Latina woman on that panel. She is self-appointed. She knows everything. It's great to see her ego take this hit, but I think it will be short-lived. It's amazing to listen to her talk about, okay, she says, my mother really identified as Puerto Rican, but she wasn't. She wasn't. She was Spanish and she was white she was part of the civil rights movement. She, she was deeply ingrained in black culture. She identified herself as black race, but Hispanic for ethnicity. But it turns out her race is white. She's European. So she was a poser. She, well, she was a Rachel Dolezal is what you're saying. I was just going to say that. Didn't she also say her mother had blonde hair and blue eyes? Yes. And that was the tip off? Yes. That something might be amiss? And she always suspected because of the blonde hair and the light eyes. Inside, I sort of knew this was my history. That's probably why I didn't want to do it. Right, the shame of coming from a white person, the horror. Who can talk like this? Can you imagine if I went on with Henry Henry Louis Gates and he told me that I have black members of my family and I was like, I'm deeply disappointed and ashamed. (laughs) Can you imagine the reaction? How dare she talk about white people like that? She gets away with it. Well, you know what? She should, I would love for her to maybe have um, Hilaria Baldwin on. (laughs) <laughs> who still continues to identify as Spanish. <laughs> she identifies as Malti. Right. Um, and they not- can maybe talk about the elastic bonds between DNA and what one would like to identify as. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Sonny Hostin is just fine with anybody out there who wants to identify as black in their applications to Harvard, which by the way, is where her son goes. And she lives in a multi-million dollar estate. We have the pictures here from a magazine shoot she did not long ago. And she makes millions of dollars on The View, but she still wants your reparations, okay? You need to be paying for that kitchen because I don't know why. (laughs) Because she owns slaves? (laughs) Someone in her family? Uh, Okay, that will wrap today's segment on Sunny Hostin. Let's discuss a crucial aspect of your financial health, your credit report. Hear me out. It's time to face a hard truth. Your credit report could be suffering due to unfounded reputation damaging claims. These are the kind of claims that simply will not hold up under rigorous scrutiny. And that's where Lexington Law Firm comes into play. For less than a hundred bucks, Lexington Law champions your cause using a comprehensive arsenal of consumer protection laws to fight for your best credit report. 
Lexington Law is fully equipped to challenge those exploitative creditors and aggressive debt collectors who obstruct your financial path. Go and visit LexingtonLaw.com for a complimentary credit assessment. Let their experts place your credit under the microscope, ensuring that it reflects your true financial story. Remember to mention that Megan referred you at LexingtonLaw.com. Empower yourself with the right team on your side. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.